Hello, this is Ray from DC Rainmaker. What I've got here today is a VASA ergometer with AMP Plus connectivity built into the head unit. Um, so this is a swim bench. There's two different models, one that has it portable, like you see here, um, and the second one where it's actually a static pole that goes ahead and it mounts uh, right up here on this piece. And it's a bit of a longer addition, but for what I have here and getting parts in and out, uh, this works a bit better. Um, so the design is that you go ahead and lay on the sponge and then you use these hand paddles right here to pull, um, this offers resistance there. Now what happens is down here on this display, it'll show you your wattage as well as your strokes per minute and then speed and so on. Um, and this allows you to go ahead and keep workouts, um, but also actually transmits over AMP Plus, which is what they introduced just recently here. So go ahead and it'll send it out to applications. For example, they note support for trainer road. Um, it's a traditionally a cycling application, but you could use it as well for this too. And of course, any up plus head unit, so that could be a Garmin, um, it could be Cyclops, it could be some of the older Timex units. Uh, there's tons and tons of options there that support AMP plus. Um, now the way this is hooked up is I have it actually drilled into the wall itself. Um, if you buy the standalone version, you don't have to do that, um, but I basically just drilled it right in. So it, and you can see some of the screws down there, um, or bolts more in this case. Um, there's nothing hooked onto the ground, just simply rests there by itself. And uh, that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the camera on a tripod and show you what it looks like both first from the Edge 1000 and then I'll show you what it looks like from the um, display unit itself. Okay, now that we've got the camera all hooked up, what I've got is the Garmin Edge 1000 showing there. Of course, this will work with any um, AMP Plus capable power meter sensing or device. So in this case, it's a 1000. It could be the 4.1 or 9.20 XT or 9.10 XT or even 3.10 XT, um, as well as other devices from other companies that support AMP Plus. So I'll show you what that looks like first. I've just got it configured really simply. Up top here is the power field and down below is cadence. That's basically my stroke count in this case. And then what I'll do is I'll get started and you'll see that I'll update those fields. After that, I'll show you what it looks like from the actual head unit itself um, and go from there. So go ahead and get on it. Uh, now this is a portable bench version. There's also one that's kind of connected from here all the way up to there. But uh, for now, this will work because they have a bit of a smaller space. I'll go ahead and put the gloves on and then get started. saw that the power went ahead and showed on the display itself along with the cadence. Now I've gone ahead and moved the camera um, so you can watch the actual display that's on the unit itself. Uh, you'll see it's got a little AMP Plus logo there so it is broadcasting to other devices as well concurrently. Um, now it's a bit awkward for me because I'm trying to reach around the camera and not hit it but uh, I think you'll be able to get the, the point nonetheless. So you'll see it shows the wattage there on the bottom um, along with the strokes per minute on the left hand side and then the pace right now just at 144, 100 um, on the second from the bottom there. Along with my distance currently for the set at uh, 75 meters, 78 meters. And then the time of the course of the time taking the, the videos here. And you'll see as I will go ahead and increase, increases the wattage. I'll these back up. It'll uh, spin down. So there you go. Just a super quick look at the Vasa uh, swim ergometer with the AMP Plus enabled now. Um, that's just that small control unit there that goes ahead and takes care of broadcasting that over AMP Plus. So thanks for watching.